Hey everybody, K-Mac here, and today we're going to review Guacamele. Guacamele is an extremely fun game, and it even manages to pull off a sense of humor. And you can tell that just by looking at the title, cause guac, a melee, get it? <laughs> Puns aside, I really did enjoy the time I spent playing this game. From the level design, to the game mechanics, to the character design, and even the story, it's just an all around great game. I was never really into indie games, but this is definitely the game that changed that for me. Now enough with the introduction, and let's dive right in. From the start, Guacamele is very vibrant in color, and when it comes to main characters, you can't get any hunkier. Just look at those pecs. Tight. Mm. Anyway, Guacamele centers on Juan, a farmer who lives in a small town where nothing really happens. Until shit fucking happens, the plot centers around the kidnapping of El Presidente's daughter, by Carlos, and you literally getting murdered within the first five minutes, by Carlos. Fucking Carlos, you think you're so fucking cool with your fucking sombrero? Fucking get you. But it's cool, it's cool. Cause a hot spirit lady by the name of Tostodos, Tosta, Tostinos grants you luchador powers and brings you back to the world of the living. From there on, you have to go through the levels collecting new moves, beating Carlos' henchmen, and getting to enjoy the scenery. Also hating those fat, fat pieces of shit. I fucking hate you. Now, let's talk more about Juan Aquacat. Look at this beefcake, the way he walks, the way he doesn't talk, how he stands so strong, and just look at his chest, like chiseled stone. And his outfit really does help catch the theme of this game. His luchador mask, right down to his luchador pantalones, as the French say, and Miss Pizza Rose is also sporting a very similar fit, but quite more form-fitting. I honestly love the character design for all the characters in this game, from supporting characters like your goat sensei to Carlos' lackeys like Jaguar Javier. Even Carlos. Fucking Carlos with your fresh ass cape, I swear to fucking god. But nobody in this game is as well designed and as well rounded as Combo Chicken. Just look at him in his little hat, <laughs> he's so cool. And they all move so fluently, you just can't not love the art style in this game. This game does a really good job at giving each character in the game their own identity. No two characters act the same or are designed alike, but the villains all have interesting backstories and even though they are the enemy, they are all relatable. Even Carlos. Fucking Carlos only wanted to be the best at what he does ass bitch, I fucking hate you. The monsters in this game even work really well. The monsters are designed so you have to do some kind of combo variation and won't just rely on the same sequence of buttons to help you get out of your comfort zone, in a good way. The monsters in the game also really help the level design flourish. Speaking of level design, the shit in this game is crazy. The way they lay out the levels is pure genius. They put things down in your way that they know you can't reach until you get a certain move or ability. Like what the fuck? Backtracking? Amazing. And yes, I know backtracking is nothing new, but when it's done so well and fits so perfectly into the way the game plays, it's just exquisite. And the level design is only further improved by the game mechanics, like the biggest mechanic in the game which is the ability to switch between the world of the living and the world of the dead. Very similar to a Legend of Zelda game, I forget which one, probably the one with Link in it. That very mechanic when used to its full potential lets you explore the map to its fullest and truly experience a whole new world. And you get some really cool fighting moves as well, which not only help you in combat, but also parkour around the map, like your uppercut and your frog slam. And all the new moves just make you feel more badass than you were before. But nothing in the game, and I mean nothing, makes you feel as badass as intense of. The leveling up system is also really good. It is very simple on top of that. You beat monsters, and you get money to level up your stats, like health and stamina. All in all, I really do enjoy this game, and it does have some cons too, but I mean, fuck you. 